their empowerment committee and thriving in place group uh, for the county. I work at Unity College and um, I hold a doctoral degree. I am speaking in favor of restoring 24-hour health care access and hospital beds at St. A's so our residents can receive rehabilitation, recuperation, and end-of-life care. I question if it was ethical and or legal for a nonprofit chartered to serve the residents of Booth Bay Peninsula to be allowed to merge with another hospital and move all of our patient critical services off the peninsula. Booth Bay region has a greater than 25% of elderly. We're number one in the state. Transportation for frail elderly is a huge barrier both economically and mobility wise to get to appointments off the peninsula. And research tells us that these people have a higher proportion of chronic conditions that require timely and frequent care. If all, after all testimony is heard, the state decides that the CON is granted, we ask that these conditions be attached. We should have 15 to 25 local skilled nursing transition post-acute discharge rehab beds at St. Andrews so that we will have a local place for our citizens. We would like urgent care center to be open seven days, 24 hours for extended coverage for the majority of um, injuries, pains, etc. that don't require emergency care but can be um, served in our own community. Um, we would like to have some defrayment of costs of the ambulance care. Then, in closing, on a personal note, my husband has been a patient of Lincoln Medical